Okay, so in this time what we're going to do is we're going to take a real situation. What we have here is a beam, and it's a 4 by 12 dug fir wooden beam uh, spanning 20 feet long with a live load of 100 pounds per foot and a dead load of 200 pounds per foot. Let's assume that this is a floor beam, so our limits for deflection, we're going to use these values right over here live load of L over 360 and dead plus live of L over 240. So we need a few things first of all. We need the properties of the of our beam. Um, it's dug for large so we're going to look that up in the table. We're going to find the modulus elasticity E is equal to 1700 KSI and a 4 by 12 has an I or a moment of inertia of 415.28 inches to the fourth. The maximum deflection again happens at the mid span so we have to look up our equation for that in a table. We're going to find this uh, deflection for a simple span is equal to 5 over 384 and that's just a coefficient times W times L to the fourth divided by E times I. So first of all, I recommend that we get everything in kips and inches. So L is equal to 240 inches. And let's look at our two loads. We have two different conditions we need to look at. We need to look at live load only, and we have to look at dead plus live load. So live load is 100 pounds per foot, and there's um, One kip has a thousand pounds and one foot has 12 inches. So 100 pounds per foot is equivalent to 0 0.00833 kips per inch. Our total load will be 300 pounds per foot times 1 over 12,000 for the same reason to get the work to get it worked out and we get 0 0.025 kips per inch e is already in ksi and i is already in inches to the fourth so what we need to do is we need to do two calculations first of all we're going to calculate the live load deflection so let's do that down here delta live load is equal to 5 over 384 times our live load here. So that's going to be 0 0.00833 kips per inch. And then we're going to multiply that by 240 inches to the fourth. Divide that by EI, 1700 KSI times 415.28 inches to the fourth and when we do that we get 0 0.5099 inches. Now does this work? Delta live load allowable is equal to L over 360 again from right there so that's equal to 240 inches divided by 360 and that gives us 0 0.667 inches greater than 0. 5099, okay. So it works for the live load, but we have to meet both conditions. So let's go ahead and check the second condition here. Delta dead load plus live load is equal to 5 over 384. And everything here is going to be the same as the last one, except the load, 0 0.025 kips per inch times 240 inches to the fourth divided by 1700 KSI times 415.28 inches to the fourth and when we do the math here we get 1.53 inches and you'll note that that's just three times this value up here because the only thing we changed was the load we went from 100 to 300 so does this one work delta total allowable is equal to L over 240.
which is 240 inches divided by 240, which is equal to 1.0, which is less than um, 1.53. So this is no good. So in this case, if either one, okay, so this is no good. This one was okay. Since one is no good, this doesn't work. So what do we do with this? Well, I'll do the next video. I'm going to start where we left off here, and I'm going to show how to select a new beam. We have two options. We, we have many options here, but let's assume that the span and the load are constant. We could either change the material or change the moment of inertia. So we're going to assume that the moment of inertia is what we're going to change, and we're going to keep the same material.